<laughs> Glutes indeed. <laughs> Glutamus maximus. That's what we're looking for this morning. Of course, there is a growing trend, I think, because of the images that are portrayed on magazine covers and music videos in particular of a slightly more curvaceous figure. That seems to be the trend at the moment, that women are, are going as far as having actual implants put in. Um, but, of course, there are other less invasive ways of getting <laughs> that perfect round pear-shaped <laughs> curve. Um, and we're going to take a look now at, at what is driving this trend. Take a look. There's no doubt that 2014 was the year of the booty, with women around the world embracing their assets. Oh, here we go. It's the latest craze in becoming more bootyful. Long gone are skimpy underwear and it's now all about the padded panties and rounded booty. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. While the origin of the trend of the butt pads remains obscure, the music industry has a long history of celebrating the derriere, the tushy, the caboose. Look at her butt. The group EU had a hit song in 1980 about booty, which became the highlight of their stage shows. Although it got minimal radio rotation, it was a number one R&B hit. Sir like mix a lots Baby Got Back is considered an anthem, although it was shrouded in controversy at the time of its 1992 release. We can thank Beyonce for giving us bootylicious, Although Snoop Dogg first coined the word in 1992, the song elevated it into everyday language and in 2004, it was even added to the Oxford English Dictionary. In 2005, My Humps by the Black Eyed Peas gave us a new nickname for the bum. Flo Rida's debut single, Low, created an increase in sales of apple bottom jeans designed to cater for voluptuous and curvaceous posteriors. All About That Bass by Megan Trainor was beloved worldwide for its positive body image message and Vogue magazine recognized it as part of the era of the big booty. Jennifer Lopez created the conversation around women being confident in having decadent boom booms. But it was Kim Kardashian and Nicki Minaj who serve as the poster girls for the big buttocks. Here at home, Bushle Samuels from Mubangu rear-ended Twitter when her rump made its debut on the popular soapy. Now it's a lucrative business where fans can buy their own Mutsi Diesel bum padding to achieve the same look as the actress. Some businesses that specialize in butts say pop culture has had a direct impact on their bottom line. It's not about being stick thin anymore as every girl now wants a big wazoo. Well, that has sparked your interest and you're feeling like you need a little more junk in your trunk. Well, we have got the answer at hand and it seems pretty simple, Zoe. Yeah. Yes, okay, so I'll quickly talk you through it. So you, all, you, all you'll need is some material, okay. some material cutting scissors, a ruler for measuring, some glue and a pencil. And that's all you need to create and your... And of course yes. a little bit of booty. stuffing your as well. Yeah. Yeah. So the okay. best would be to measure. So we're going to measure, gonna measure on me. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, yeah. So you need to measure from the side and obviously you want to go a little bit longer mm. than the ruler. And then you also need to measure your butt cheeks. Go and then, it. yeah, we'll, 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 we'll measure. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll draw it out. So the idea is okay. to create a tear shape it's with a square at the bottom. Like this? Yeah, Cut so you'll, you'll get a nice big, like that. Obviously, you've measured it. Yes. With a square at the bottom. Okay. And then we'll also, because, I mean, we want nice big posteriors, so yeah. we'll draw a nice big circle because we've measured yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you want to go a little bit bigger than what you've initially planned. So then you'll cut okay. it out. And then since we've already got this cut out for us, the right. process is made simplified. So <laughs> what is simplified? So you'll use some material glue, very simple. Okay. And you'll just put a little bit of glue on the edges. So now that we've got yes. two matching pieces. So you're creating yourself a little sock there. Kind of yes. Cool. Pockets. So yeah. if you want to get gluing, if you want to do that for us, okay, you just cool. do on the outskirts, but don't do the entire thing. We'll start just at the bottom. Just a little bit. Yes. All right, but like about this, let, me, let me start on this You can have here. varying sizes depending on how you feel that day, you know, well, how much you want to be noticed. Yes. You know? Well, the idea is to <laughs> add something extra. So we do want to go a little bit bigger. And then once you've created the glue exterior and you've created a little sock, that's when the stuffing yeah. starts. So you'll just stuff oh, it. It's not working, Zoe. I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys get the idea, right? We'll oh, stuff yeah. it with some normal stuffing and we'll okay. just stick it in there. And the idea is to get it as full and nice and plumped as possible. So yeah. the more we, we stuff and eventually we'll add gluing and then we're, what we'll, we'll end up with essentially are, these will take the big ones. Yeah. We'll end up with <laughs> one of these. You are quite excited there. about this, I think. Yeah? So we've got these, this process. Yeah. yeah, so we've got these ones that will go into the side okay. as well as the rounder ones that will All go right. in at the back. 
So, so let me just remind everyone out there watching this morning, yes, it might seem silly, but it's an actual trend and a craze going on at the moment, having a nice little bountiful booty. Yeah, well, you the know, thing exactly. is, uh, there are ways that you can address this, obviously, without going as far as having implants or making your own padded um, stuffing for your pants. You can, of course, try a pair of heels on, which seems to be the all the, the brand new craze in terms of getting that perfect pop. And, um, of course, Tenji, um, as she is always, was willing to, to put herself to the test.